Dogs are domesticated mammals that come in all shapes and sizes. They're the best friends you'll ever have, even if they do steal your food and sleep in your bed. From the tiny Chihuahua to the massive Great Dane, they're known for their loyalty, playful nature, and undying love for their owners. Dogs are like toddlers, but with more fur and fewer tantrums. They need to be potty trained, they're always getting into things, and they have a knack for destroying your favorite belongings. But at the end of the day, they love you unconditionally. So if you're thinking about getting a dog, be prepared for a lot of work, but also a lot of love and laughter. Just don't expect them to be perfect. After all, they're dogs. So here are 10 mistakes that owners makes. But before that, click that subscribe and like button. Also try clicking that bell too for more videos like this. Back to the video. 1. Not doing your research before getting a dog. You're at the pet store, looking at all the adorable puppies. You fall in love with a tiny, fluffy ball of fur and decide to bring it home. But a few weeks later, you realize that your new puppy is a high-energy herding breed that needs hours of exercise per day. You're also struggling to keep up with the constant barking and destructive behavior. So, before you get a dog, do your research to find a breed that is a good fit for your lifestyle and experience level. Consider factors such as energy level, temperament, and grooming needs. 2. Not socializing your dog. You take your puppy to the park for the first time. You seem excited, because why not, right? Then immediately start whining and trembling. When another dog approaches, your dog suddenly became shy. Lesson learned now. Socialization is important for all puppies. It helps them learn how to interact with other dogs, people, and new environments. A well-socialized dog is more likely to be confident and well-behaved in public. 3. Skipping basic obedience training. Imagine this. You're walking your dog down the street, when suddenly they see a squirrel and take off running. Like, full send, zoomies. Calling their name has no effect. They ignore you, like your girlfriend that is angry to you. Basic obedience training is essential for all dogs. It teaches them commands such as sit, stay, and come. A well-trained dog is more likely to listen to you and be under control in public. 4. Not providing enough exercise. You come home from work, exhausted, because you got chewed by your manager again in a second row in a week to find your dog has chewed up the couch and sofa cushions. Dogs need regular exercise to stay physically and mentally healthy. A bored dog is more likely to develop destructive behaviors. 5. Overfeeding Your dog is starting to look a little overweight. You try to cut back on their food, but looks like not an option. Look at him, he looks like a potato now. It's important to feed your dog the correct amount of food and to avoid giving too many treats. Overfeeding can lead to obesity. Yes, we love a big boy, but if big boy can't walk, big boy is in trouble, which can cause a number of health problems. 6. Not taking your dog to the vet for regular checkups. You notice that your dog has been acting lethargic. No more zoomies. And has lost interest in playing. No more playtime. You take them to the vet, only to find out that they have a serious health problem that could have been prevented with early detection. So if I were you, visit your vet more often, even though your doggy hate him. 
It's important to take your dog to the vet for regular checkups, even if they seem healthy. This will help to catch any potential health problems early on and prevent them from becoming more serious. 7. Not providing adequate grooming. You're petting your dog. Who's still a good boy? Who's still a good boy? You are. But you notice that their fur is matted and dirty. You try to brush them. But they squirm and whine. They already have something. Grooming is important for all dogs. But it is especially important for dogs with long or thick coats. Grooming helps to remove loose hair, mats, and dirt also helps to keep your dog's skin and coat healthy. 8. Leaving your dog alone for too long. You come home from work to find that your dog has destroyed the trash can and shredded all tissues and called himself the shredder. For the third time, third time. Dogs are social animals and need companionship. Leaving your dog alone for too long can lead to anxiety, boredom, and destructive behavior. Either you find a couple, so when you are not home, they can watch and play with your dog, which we know that not happening, or adopt a dog again, or maybe a cat. 9. Not picking up after your dog. You're walking down the street, and step in a pile of dog poop. You got really angry. But remember, anyone should be responsible for their pet, even the dirty work. It's important to pick up after your dog when they go to the bathroom. This helps to keep your community clean and prevents the spread of disease. Lastly, 10. Not being consistent with discipline. You tell your dog not to jump on the couch, but they ignore you. Why? Think of the reasons. Maybe you. You try to discipline them, but they just wag their tail and give you a kiss. Dogs need to know what is expected of them, and they need to be disciplined consistently. If you are not consistent with discipline, your dog will be confused and more likely to misbehave. Dogs are the universe's way of saying, you need a friend who will love you unconditionally, even if you're a total slob. Dogs are the furry little companions that make life worth living. They're always up for a game of fetch, a walk around the block, or a cuddle on the couch. And they never judge you for your bad hair days or your questionable fashion choices. Dogs are truly the best friends we could ask for. So, if you're lucky enough to have a dog in your life, cherish them. Because they're a rare and precious gift. If you like this, please subscribe for more. Check our other videos, The Ultimate Guide to Dog Breeds and The Ultimate Guide to Cat Breeds.